Hi everyone, this is Michael from HardwareGeeks.com and today I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys on how to swap out your hard drive from your notebook computer and replace it with a newer, faster, bigger one without actually having to reinstall your operating system. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people say they need a bigger hard drive on their notebooks and think the easiest and or cheapest way is to buy a new notebook and I recently went to a Best Buy and I was pretty much told the same thing by a sales associate but that isn't the case a new notebook will run you around six hundred and fifty dollars the cheapest being maybe well actually you can get a, a, a new notebook for maybe five forty nine but still that's more expensive than one forty nine for the hard drive a dollar for the screwdriver and fifteen dollars for this USB to SATA connector. The hard drive we have right here is the new Seagate Momentous 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. It was released, I believe, last week. And the patient right there is the Toshiba A355. For those of you familiar with the Toshiba Satellite A355, um, you, you probably know it comes with two hard drives. And you probably think, well, why do I need another hard drive? Simple answer is, Toshiba owns this notebook, I don't, and they gave me permission to swap out the hard drives. The other two notebooks I have are the HP DV2, which is sleek and stylish, and the uh, HP TouchSmart TX2. HP didn't give me permission to swap the hard drive on these. So, uh, it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is connect this hard drive via the USB connector and use the Seagate Disk Wizard software to transfer. Well, not transfer, what it'll do is make an image of this, the hard drive that's in here and place it on here onto the new hard drive then you just pop this hard drive into the system and it'll boot up as normal as if you didn't do anything the whole process should take no more than five minutes with the exception of the transferring of the data which will probably take which took me actually five I think it was fifteen minutes so what you do is you connect this USB to SATA adapter to your USB port. Um, you can buy this on Newegg for $15. You connect the hard drive to it. Now you're probably wondering, well, will the USB adapter actually power the hard drive? No, it will not. But this $14.99 USB adapter to SATA adapter comes with a, an external power supply that will connect to your eSATA hard drive. So once they're connected you just open up the Seagate Disk Wizard software. If you're running Vista you'll get a prompt. It will then scan for Seagate hard drives on your system. If it doesn't detect any, it will tell you, oh, we don't find a Seagate hard drive. It only works with a Seagate hard drive. That's the error I just got. The reason it doesn't detect the hard drive is because, well, it's powered up. It's not powered up because of the power su supply is not connected. But I, I'm not going to do the transfer now because I already did it. And I doubt you guys want to sit 15 to 20 minutes just watching a blue bar scroll across the screen. Just know when you're in the disk wizard software, it'll give you an option to copy the hard drive to the new Seagate hard drive. Once you do that, you power down your system. Now this part is critical. You have to turn off your computer. I and mean, You don't want to yank the hard drive while the computer's still on. Plus, you don't want it to be plugged in when you yank out the hard drive you don't want to shock yourself and, and to be blunt there are some idiots out there that 
will shock themselves because they left it plugged in or left the computer, the notebook on. So anyway, once your system turns off, close the lid, and you're gonna look for where your hard drive is. On the Toshiba 8355, you have one hard drive here, and one hard drive here. Just something to note on the Toshiba is there, there are no markings for where the hard drive is. If you have an HP, there's a little hard drive indicator, which is that gray three disc icon right there. It's pretty much on all HP systems. This is the DV2, it has the icon there. I'm not sure if all Toshiba systems do not have an icon. Uh, I do believe I've seen them on some, and I know Dell has the icon. So just look for the little three platter icon, and that's your hard drive. So in the Toshiba, let me bring you guys in a little bit closer and zoom in on the hard drive location. There we go. On this A355, there are two screws holding the current hard drive in place. This is hard drive one, this is the one where the entire OS is and it's 500 gigs. And I'm replacing it with a 500 gig hard drive so you guys won't see any difference in my computer, but this is just a quick tutorial. Anyway, so there's two screws. Some systems might have four, or some might have three. You remove the screws, they should unscrew easily. Move them to the side. You don't want to lose them because you'll need them. Remove the second screw. Move it to the side. Lift the plate off. Now here's the hard drive. There'll be a little flap for you to pull out. You want to pull it away. So you pull it that way and then up. And out comes the hard drive. So let me zoom back out. So you notice the hard drive that was in there is encased in this little bracket. You'll need to remove this bracket from the hard drive and place it on a new hard drive. There are two screws on each side. One there, one here, two on the other side. Once um, you remove it, replace it with the new hard drive. And then, let's move back to the computer. Pretend this is the new hard drive, obviously, obviously it's not. But pretend it is, just slide it back in, push it in, put the tab away, put the casing back on, make sure it snaps into place. Screw it back in, flip your laptop over, and power it 